Happy you could be here. We are joined by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes something new, Red Apron Burger Bar in DuPont Circle. It joins its Red Apron sisters in Union Market uh, down in Merrifield by B-Side. And there's also a Red, a Red Apron connected to the Partisan in Penn Quarter. Must be doing something right there. They uh, are reproducing well. like rabbits. <laughs> uh, Greg, it is good to see you. Good to see you too. What is on tap this week? So this week, it's funny you mentioned Red Apron Burger Bar. Um, we're really excited about the, uh, the opening. Uh, for this place, it's, it's where we are concentrating on these amazing burgers, these beef fat fries. You gotta check it out in DuPont. But another cool thing, obviously, it's one of ours. So it has a really amazing beer list. And that beer really? list, 18 drafts, um, it skews hop forward, so, um, cause hoppy beers go so well with burgers and fries. So I figured this week we would do a newer um, brewery's uh, pale ale offering, um, and, and we are. So this is called Jungle Boogie. It's from uh, the Mars community, Mars Collective, uh, a really cool new brewery, little six barrel brewery in Chicago. Yeah. And um, you're just starting to see some distribution of their beers uh, in our area on draft, but also in can. So it's Jungle Boogie, 5.4 or 5.5 and a half, 5.5% uh, pale ale, hopped with a lot of mosaic, and then it's Very also nice. finished with um, <clears throat> a certain kind of tea. It's called Roy Boss tea. It's a South African tea that gives a really cool, kind of like bright strawberry quality in the nose. It's a little bit of tobacco from the tea. Um, just Herbal. when you said that, the tobacco, the like pipe tobacco, tobacco thing, a yeah. little hit, yeah. hit a little bit. Yeah, oh, I like that. And the tea's not overpowered. No, it's not, but it gives it a little bit more nuanced bitterness there. Um, it's kind of grassy. Mm. Really tasty. So six barrel, that's pretty small, small yeah. right? It totally is. Um, these guys, uh, they started um, at a, it's a, a place called Maria's Packaged Goods, which is a, um, a little like store and bar in the um, south side of Chicago. Uh, Bridgeport is the neighborhood, I think. And um, it, what it is, it's a collective of people. It's like professional brewers, home brewers, and artists that met just hanging out at this place and decided to start the Mars Collective um, Brewery. And they have, and they have this little tiny place. Um, they make some beers there, but they also do brew under contract at Against the Grain Brewery in Louisville, Kentucky, um, which is, uh, a great place too. So these beers that we'll see locally are typically made, packaged, and made and packaged at the Against the Grain Brewery. Are they uh, can only or? Um, yeah. So uh, f well, no. I think we we see our cans and kegs, but they do some 22 ounce bottles as well. Um, but they make really, really fun stuff in very small batches. Uh, do they have a history? The guys or who guys? I use that as a guys and gals term. The people who started this brewery have history at other. Yeah, they've, they've been, some of them, it's a really cool mix of home brewers and brewers who have definitely brewed uh, both in the States and overseas. And, and then it's just like, also just a great array of like artists and, and friends that are there. I mean, that's why they have such great like graphics work right off the rip. Um, and it's, it's a fun idea rather than it just being like, you know, a home brewer's dream or some person that just peeled off. I mean, these are like-minded individuals who all met at this place just drinking great beer and decided to like throw their kind of Hats of the ring as well. I'd like to meet more of those people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've only, I only know people who just like drinking it. They like have someone else <laughs> make, make it, it for them. Package it. Yeah, I exactly. I swear I've heard that name Maria's before. My sister lives in the south side of Chicago. Oh, I'm but sure I she knows it. Yeah. Uh, some sort of story. I hope no one was hurt <laughs> there. Uh, what would you pair it with? So I love this beer with um, all sorts of, of Jewish deli foods. Uh, I've been drinking it. You know, you find it at deli. So I had some with. Um, uh, pastrami on rye the other day it was amazing. You could do this with just you know corned beef and brisket. Um, Reuben's are amazing. Knish, you name it, it's gonna be great. Smoked salmon. I mean, you can even have this like bagel with some lox on it. It's fantastic. The key, I think, is that it's got malt sweetness, a kind of toasted sweetness from the malt. I mean, you see, it's like amberish in color, uh, dark gold, and then it's got that really nice kind of. Um, not too intense bitterness, both from the hops and the tea that slices right through the meat. Uh, Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.